What's up, everybody? Welcome to the beatmajors.net. Today, we're going to talk about how to get your kicks or how to make your kicks stand out a little bit more in your mix. Um, right now, I have a kick loaded up already for you guys to check out. So it's already it, it already pretty much has a good thump to it. Um, that's kind of what you want to do. That's the point of this. You kind of want to find a, find a good thumpy kick or a good low end kick just to start off with. Um, or, you know, it depends on the beat. You don't necessarily have to pick that type of kick. Um, but just for the sake of this, this is what type of kick we're going to use here. So I've already sent the kick to the mixer. So we've added a parametric EQ. And we're going to kind of mess with this kick and find a, a good area for the kick. Um, I like playing kicks in the lower, lower key. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of cut. You can sometimes you can do a roll off also. That's kind of what that is, that curve. You're just rolling the frequencies off. Um, but I like to just straight up cut it. Cut it. <laughs> uh, so I like to start around 31 hertz. And this is just a small secret, or I'm not even going to say really secret. This is just something that we do, a, a good starting point for you guys also. So we're basically, I'm just going to start from 20 hertz, and we're just going to cut um, up until a good point that you should probably have your kick sitting at that will sound good in a lot of mixes. So we're back up to about 31 hertz. That sounds pretty good. Forty-one hertz. I mean that that's a good spot too, but thirty-one is good. Um you don't really want to take it up any higher because you're gonna cut more too much low end out. You kinda of want your kick to have that thump to it, but you don't want it um interfering with the 808 if you have an 808 bass or just any other bass that you have sitting that need lower frequencies um and another good thing is to cut the higher frequencies off also just because you might have a, a snare or you might have some other instruments in your mix that need um a good you know place in the higher end of the mix so if we're starting from we're starting all the way up from 20 where we at how do they say it 20k And we're just going to, yeah, we're just going to cut from there. And I'm going to kind of show you what it sounds like when you cut the higher frequencies off. Now, you, it doesn't really sound all that great right now, but you'll hear it when you're mixing your beats you'll kind of hear like oh that is kind of bringing out you know other frequencies within my mix because i'm cutting out a higher frequency that doesn't need to really be there it's a kick drum i mean you know certain kicks you will need a higher higher frequency but like i said it all it's going to depend on what type of beat or what type of song you're you're mixing it for Now, if you're more advanced, you already kind of know what it is with that. But if you're a beginner, this is this is good for you. This is this is a good starting point for you. So go in, use this technique, try it out in your songs, your beats and see what you come up with. Take this information. Um, you know, if you're a beginner, this is good for you. If you're advanced, you probably already know what's going on here. But this is just for the beginners, this is for the guys that don't really know or they don't have a, 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 the knowledge of where to start from. This might help some of you. So if you like what you see or if you like the information you got, please hit the like button. Also subscribe for more videos. And if you're looking for drum kits or sounds like this that we use, the kick that we use in here, you can get those at thebeatmajors.net slash drum kits. You guys have a good one. Until next time.